Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to set up and manage your own dedicated Palworld server. We will also go through steps how to make sure that your friends can join it, which is the part number four. Okay, so let's get started. So first open up the browser and go to harvest.com, then uh, press the download button. and press download. Uh, we will get the zip file and now we will just extract it. Uh, we want to keep our game server's data somewhere so we will just create a new folder in the desktop and name it game servers. Uh, then move the Harhaus executable there and just double click Okay, so that's it. So in order to create a new server, we will just press the create button. Then we will select Palworld and we will name it. And just press the install button. You will see the installation progress here. Uh, you can also check the logs if you are interested more in what's going on. Uh, so now after the installation is finished, we are actually ready to start the server. Just click this, press allow. This will allow the firewall ports to be accessed for the server. And we can see that it has been loaded. It uses 14% of CPU, 1 gigabyte of memory. Okay, so now we'll show you how to import uh, an existing server. So for the purpose of this tutorial, we will just remove this server from Haruhost. Uh, you will just press remove to confirm it. Uh, that won't delete the server files, so we will just re-import it again. So I just press the import button, then we have power selected. I will just name it Pal press the import button and uh, now we are in the game service directory so this is the game server uh, make sure by where you open you see this kind of folder structure so now go one level back and just select this folder and that's it okay so now we will connect to the palward server so to do that just open up palward New servers always use this port, so we will just uh, open up Palworld and press the join mode clear. And we can see that uh, the port matches and this is uh, our URL. So if you are connecting from the same PC it should work. So I just press the connect button. and confirm and we can start the game uh, now there might be a case where you want your friends to join your server and in order to do that uh, you will have to port forward so click here on view more then click here on port forwarding and uh, make sure that uh, you will port forward your IP address. So this gateway IP address in my case doesn't display correctly. So what I will do is I will just press the Windows key and type in CMD, then IP config. And here I can see my network. So I have a default gateway address here. Uh, usually what you have to do is copy the address and open it up in the browser like this but uh, my specific router doesn't work that way so I can't show it to you however you can open up this link and uh, it will contain 
uh, usual steps uh, for a lot of routers how to do port forwarding and here at the end we see which ports have to be port forwarded so for palward we only care about the game port which is the protocol udp and internal port and this is our uh, internal ip address uh, usually you don't want to port forward aircon because it's not safe as aircon is used to execute commands remotely for admins so if you port forward this uh, someone might try to connect and uh, mess up your server and the other thing that we might need to do is press the windows firewall port unlock now the scripts require administrative privileges so we can just press u file and edit to see what they do and just double click and yeah that's it uh, now in order for your friends to connect you will have to go to this website called uh, what is my ip and you will see the ip address so i won't go there because i don't want to share my public ip address uh, but that's basically it Now, if you're running uh, the server from a different computer, uh, you might need to use the internal IP address. So what you would do you is you go to port forwarding, copy this IP address by pressing Ctrl and C, and then uh, in Powered, you will return to the title. Um, and now instead of this, I will just paste the internal IP address, press connect, and uh, that's it. Okay, so let's see how we can configure the server. So usually uh, it's best to shut down the server because most of the changes won't be applied until you restart the server. So all we have to do is to click the edit button, then uh, we have here the advanced config and let's say I want to add the server password, so I will just try type in server password and then press the edit key and uh, my password. Uh, then we can double check, it's saved and now we will just start the server again. Okay, so the server is online, let's connect to it. And we can just keep this default address. Um, okay, so uh, the password thing is a bit buggy. Um, there is a workaround that I will leave in the description. Yeah, well that sucks. but. It released a few days ago, so I think in about a week they should solve this. To add Discord hooks, uh, what do we do is we press uh, Server Settings, then we go to Integrations, Web Hooks, create a web hook, and we now we click on the web hook, we click Copy URL, then we open up our host, then we press View More. Then we press the Discord hooks, then we paste in the URL, press set, and it's done. Um, now we just start the server. And I got the notification that the server has started and is online. So let's say I will press the update button. We can see that the status changed to shut down. And now it has been updated and it's starting.
and it's back online. Okay, so I will stop the server. And you can see it was stopped. All right, so when the server is running, we can send our one commands. So for example, I will send the info command, just press send, and it says welcome. Uh, so to see all the commands, all you do is you press here commands and you can see all the aircon commands, just don't use the slash. For broadcasting, you cannot use spaces as it will, will make mistakes. So what you do is you write broadcast, uh, my message, use underscore. And then it shows that it broadcasted. If you will, do, if you will use space, it won't send that's uh, a server issue, they just don't handle the spaces. Okay, and finally, we will see how we can automate uh, the Palworld server. So for example, let's say we want to make backups. So we, so we press this button, we press add, we select backup, and then we want backups to be done every 10 seconds, just for the purpose. Uh, also set the backup directory so you can press choose and it will create the backups where you select but but I want to use the default location so all I did uh, I pressed the backup button and since the directory wasn't set uh, it open up uh, the dialog. You can also pre press here for the backups and press the set backups there and then so reselect it. And now we see that the event sh scheduler, uh, it makes backups every 10 seconds and that it completed. Uh, I want to turn off the backup feature for now. And uh, let's say we want uh, the server to restart every day and now it's 3.52 so I will just say 53 and it will restart. Yeah. Uh, what you can also do, you can also select Aircon as the command and you can execute uh, for example broadcast message server is starting in yes and then create this and it will broadcast it so that's it now for more you can just press this discord button and it will open up the discord link uh, yeah Thanks for watching.